is that that's really the best you can do, is it? This is the new merchandise. You gonna set the timer? Well, not really. Not really. No, it doesn't matter how long it is today. That's good. We've got all the time in the world. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Monday edition of Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your TV. Uh, we will start with uh, what Lance didn't say. He said a lot. I mean, two episodes, back to back episodes of, of, of Oprah, sort of, you know, Lance confesses and then return of the killer confession the next, the next day. So he said a lot of stuff. But I'm wondering if he really told us the real truth. I mean, getting caught up in the in the moment, that seemed to be his sort of reason for doing all the horrible things that he did. But maybe there's a deeper reason that he didn't really talk about that much. And I think I've got the reason right here. I reckon it's all her fault. Uh, that's that's Cheryl Crow. Uh, because if I if I recall correctly, she's the lady who who once said, "All I want to do is have some fun." So she just doesn't care about the consequences, and I think that's a pretty clear example of her. All she wanting, all her wanting to do is have some fun there, and uh, another example there of her just having some fun. It's the kind of fun Cheryl Crow's into. Yeah, that's right. So I mean, you know, Lance. I mean, he's only a man. Did quite a lot of research on that this morning, actually. Um, does uh, this is a question here for you? Does dot com Kim dot com does he know how to throw a party? Yep, yes he does. Yes he does. Uh, I've spent quite a lot of time researching this one too. Actually, that's Kim dot com there, with surrounded by dancing girls, dressed in uniform. Yeah, he's a bit of a legend. I've no idea what he's doing. Uh, another questionable website apparently but he's having a good time isn't he it's good to be kim.com um should zach guilford go to parties nope no 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 he shouldn't um he's admitted being involved in a serious incident after attending a private house party earlier this month uh yeah because remember in 2011 he was suspended for four weeks uh, following that whole booze field night in Maratonga. And then, yeah, it was all going to be good after that. And at that time, uh, coach Todd Blackadder said, uh, there's no second chance saloon here, which I thought was an interesting choice of, of phrase for somebody who's just been on a, uh, what, did they, what did they call it here? A booze fueled incident. Yeah, yeah, second chance saloon. What, did the, what kind of drinks do they serve at the second chance saloon? Sort of a, just a mocktail menu, is it? Anyway, he should have been drinking there perhaps and not at the private house party. So, Zach, no more parties, please. Perhaps that will help you stay out of trouble. And I will finish today with the problem with the air shows. Because the Wings Over Wairarapa air show happened over the weekend. And quite popular, about 20,000 people flocked to the air show. I guess that is the, uh, that's how you get to an air show. You flock. Uh, you fly in formation, probably. And, uh, but the problem for me, and so why I've never really flocked to an air show, is you get a sort of a, there's a lot of that going on, and that can, that can play havoc with the, with your sort of, your T4, T5 area around there. Um, so maybe some kind of, take a deck chair? Would that be the way to go? For best viewing for an air show, and maybe even uh, like a revol like a revolving a deck chair on a lazy Susan, perhaps, and then you know you can do a bit of yeah, a bit of that. That'd be my recommendation if you're off to an air show. Deck chair, lazy Susan, give it a spin, uh, much more comfortable. Uh, that was Glen ZB TV uh, for Monday. Thanks so much for having me in your tally.